I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Mexico City. In Mexico City, we're staying in an area. It's a district, it's called Roma Norte. It's, it's a pretty trendy area, but it's really nice for walking around. The sidewalks are wide, they're tree-lined roads. It's quiet, it's peaceful. It's, little, it's like a little oasis within Mexico City. In this video, we're gonna take a walk around the neighborhood. We're gonna go, well, I need a coffee, so we're gonna have a coffee. Uh, we're gonna walk around. We might see, I might check out this one plaza that I wanna show you. So we're just gonna walk around, we're gonna explore, and we're gonna go on a Roma Norte, Mexico City neighborhood walk. Before we continue walking though, I just wanna share with you just a really quick piece of history about the Roma Norte district of Mexico City. Colonia Roma is made up of Roma Norte, which is in the north, and Roma Sur, which is in the south. Uh, but the entire district is to the west of Centro, the central part, the downtown Mexico City. And believe it or not, this entire area where now is the heart of the city, it used to be a shallow part of Lake Texcoco. And it was in the 19th and 20th centuries uh, when the wealthy class, especially Europeans, wanted to move out of the congested center of Mexico City. And so they developed uh, this wealthy, very modern area of what is today Roma. So moving into present day, modern day, today in Roma Norte, it's still a very wealthy area of Mexico City, uh, but it's one of the most trendy, one of the most hipster, uh, very fashionable neighborhoods in all of Mexico City. But what's also very cool is that almost on every street corner, you'll find street food, you'll find little convenience stores. You can still get a cheap, delicious Mexican meal. Now that we've covered just a very brief history of Roma Norte, I think this entire area will make a little bit more sense uh, as we continue to walk around. Oh, good morning, Micah. Good morning, okay, let's go. The first place that we're coming to, and this is the main landmark public space that's just down the road from where we're staying. And yes, that is a replica statue of Michelangelo's David. And if I read correctly, I believe that formerly it was actually called Roma Plaza. Uh, but then sometime down the history, they renamed it Plaza de Rio de Janeiro because there's a building, an old brick building, on one side and that building is called Rio de Janeiro. Over on this is a really nice coffee shop that I've been to check out. It's a really nice coffee shop. And it actually, in the if you come here in the afternoon, it's almost completely packed. We've come in the afternoon and tried to get a table, it's packed. Uh, but in the morning now, it's there's some open tables, so we're gonna have a coffee here. Uh, americano caliente. Okay. Americano. Y jugo de naranja, zanahoria y limón. Sí. Yeah, that's a very good cup of Italian style coffee. Man, after talking so much history this morning about Roma Norte, I needed a cup of coffee, coffee desperately. Very nice coffee shop. Is this a cinnamon roll? Or a raisin, looks like a raisin roll. I wasn't planning to taste Ying's roll, uh, but she said, she said it was so good I needed to taste a bite, so she kindly gave me a bite. I'm just having one bite though. Oh yeah. Oh, that is really good. Really crusty, really buttery. And we also got one of their freshly squeezed juices which if you look around, a lot of people ordered it too, along with coffee. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. There's orange, carrot, I, oh, lime, a lot of lime in here too. Well, oh, it's really, really nice, really refreshing, not too sweet. Fantastic cup of coffee, a nice place to sit. Our total bill came to 122 pesos for everything we ordered. feeling much better after that coffee. Uh, we're gonna start walking now towards a plaza that's really cool and has some very interesting history that I wanna share with you.
how cool is this? And you will find art like this, wall murals, paintings all over Mexico City. It's so bright, it's so colorful, and the amount of time that it took to do this, but it just brightens up the city. That was a very nice walk. We've made it to the square. It's right down here. This is called Plaza de Romita. Quick shout out to my buddy Jeremy from The World or Bust. He's a travel blogger uh, and he lives right in Roma Norte. I was hanging out with him the other day and he brought me here. So that's why I wanted to show you too because it's a pretty cool place. So long before this was Mexico City, long before this was Roma Norte, this was just a very small Aztec village. And eventually the city grew, uh, Roma Norte and Roma, Colonia Roma was formed and developed and the city just grew all together. Uh, but this little plaza is just a little remembrance of the ancient Aztec village that used to be here. Now it's quiet, there are wall murals, uh, there's a church, it's another shady, beautiful plaza uh, to visit and it's a little hidden gem in Roma Norte. Lots of nice art though. And from here, we're on our way to a bigger park that has a really nice playground. There is a street food stall right there that serves burgers and it was not my idea, it was Ying's idea. Abierto. Uh, uno, por favor. Ying and I have been going to the park almost every day for Micah to play on the playground. And every time we come here, well, right now, it's just, I think it's that you're just opening. But if you come here in the evening, this hamburger spot is just packed all the time. And it smells so good. You hear the, you smell the burger wafting through the air. This is a cool place. And we were, we really wanted to try it. So we just ordered up a burger to eat in the park real fast. But sin, sin mustard. Uh, para llevar, para llevar. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir, nice to meet you. I was the only one when they, when I, I went there, uh, but I met a couple of people standing in line, including a really friendly man, and he said you have to order the piña con queso, which is pineapple with cheese, uh, which is their signature. Unfortunately, I only ordered the regular. I didn't know that was their signature. I just tried the, the normal burger. Okay, so next time I come here, I'm definitely ordering that specialty. And Micah and Ying should already be playing in the park. They came here as I was ordering the burger. This is a pretty big park and it's really nice because they have all sorts of playgrounds throughout this entire park. Uh, there's swings, there are things to climb on, there are slides, there are merry-go-rounds. There's also a section with exercise equipment. And we love coming here. This is Micah's favorite place in Mexico City. Okay, let's jump in here. Ah. There's nothing better than having a burger at the park, on the playground, in the merry-go-round. Look at that burger, it looks so juicy. Look at that, that's beautiful. <laughs> Next time, okay, we, we gotta come back here for the tour, yeah? Burger. How's that? Okay, let's take a quick bite. And by the way, this is not, this was not supposed to be a food vlog. Uh, well, it's not really a food vlog, but we just we just had to try this burger. Oh man, that's delicious. Oh, that's awesome. No wonder it's so popular. But next time I will definitely order it with the pineapple and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I cannot make it. Eating and spinning? Wait, just one, two, one spin. Come on, buddy. Come on, my guy. My guy. Ay, 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 ay. You love it. Yeah, this is such a cool park. There's so many things to play on. And yeah. Micah really loves it here.
So that is gonna do it for this neighborhood walk around Roma Norte. It's really a nice area of Mexico City. And again, it has this, even though Mexico City is such a gigantic, uh, very energetic city, Roma Norte has this peaceful, quiet, very relaxing atmosphere to it. The main reason I decided to stay here with my family when in Mexico City is because, well, yeah, it's a very nice area, but also it's quite safe. Uh, it's nice to walk around. There's so much food. Uh, and also, it's also very close to the center of Mexico City, so it's easy transportation to get anywhere throughout Mexico City. So that's all for this Roma Norte Mexico City neighborhood walking tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also click subscribe. I'm gonna be publishing lots more travel videos, neighborhood tours, apartment tours. Oh, and by the way, I'll also leave the link to the apartment tour that we're staying in uh, in Roma Norte as, as well, so you can be sure to watch that. And also click that little bell icon so that way you get notified of future videos that I publish. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.